in a world for friends one mission to bring freedom to everyone involved dude what the fuck are you doing I'm doing a thing for the podcast dude, just say the name fine it's the freedom friends podcast <laughs> Is that what you did Saturday night? That's what I did Saturday night. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking! I just, I just opened Instagram. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck boys. Hey. Fuck boys. Fuck boys. Well, we're uh, we're sitting in a circle. Yes, sir. We've got drinks and sticks. Yes, sir. That can only mean one fucking thing, Johnny. What are we about to do? We're about to fucking masturbate, boys. Oh, there it is. So, uh. I think John has a, an interesting debate topic for us today that he needs us to uh, solidify I for do. him because he can't decide which one he is. Uh, that, you know what? That's that's kind of true. <laughs> um. So we're gonna uh, <laughs> we're gonna throw it over here, Johnny. Here on the Freedom Friends Master Debate, what it's, the fuck uh, are we debating? Is it better to be rich with no friends or poor with many friends? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's the wrong one. <laughs> also a good one. Yeah. Um, I should have gotten another cigar before we started this. I'm going to, to, to be in trouble. I asked. Uh, okay, so the I actual, thought there were still ones on the, the actual debate that we're going to do today is what is more important, being good looking or being smart? Oh, John, you're going to make me sound like a sexist pig. <laughs> I'm not making anybody do anything. Yeah, why don't we, uh, why don't we kick off with you there? <laughs> All right, well, I, I will say... It is probably more important to be good looking if you are a female, uh, because if you're good looking as a female, you can accomplish a lot of things in life. Dude, if I had tits, I could rule the fucking world. Uh, exactly. They don't realize. <laughs> Shut up, Acup. <laughs> <laughs> they do not realize the power that they wield. No, they don't. They don't. Um, well, I think they do within like the square footage that they live in. But what about like Zoolander? Like, he was dumb as fuck, but he's ridiculously, ridiculously really, 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 really good yeah. looking. <laughs> well, I think that was a movie. Uh, I, I, this applies to some guys, too. If you're fucking stupid, you better be good looking. Yeah, yeah. look at Tom Cruise. So, it, because if you're ugly and stupid, you're fucked. Um, fortunately for me, I <laughs> am not hideous, but I'm not brilliant. So I average out, I think, to a normal person, uh, and I can function that way. But generally, I think females, the hotter they are, the more they will succeed. Guys, it doesn't matter because for some reason, guys, as they get older, they they start to look better usually. I think it depends. So I've witnessed the phenomenon within like males that at some point in time – a dude kind of figures out the look that he's like most comfortable with. Okay. And as soon as that like personal comfort hits, uh, it turns into, it turns into confidence. It, then it turns into confidence and that's what becomes more attractive. Yes. I, but yeah. every dude goes through that weird, like, I don't know who the fuck I am. Tries a bunch of shit out. Yeah. So they finally yeah. kind of figure out what their look is. So, and uh, so like, I think, I think I see you looking at me. I think I think that applies to chicks but, too, though. But I don't. I don't yeah, because you're fucking up with that beard, bud. Because I'm telling you right now, <laughs> I, the mustache game was. I where it's think at. that I think that applies to chicks too. If you're if you're okay looking and you're uber confident, yeah. that is very attractive. I there's the difference between physically attractive and sexy. Yeah, I think is what you're trying to hit on. Yeah, and I think I think some women don't realize that. Yeah, like, I think there's a, most women most don't realize, women don't realize that, that you can be a little curvy or a little thick or whatever, but if you know, if you kind of know what you are and you own it. And you're confident about it. Like sexy is sexy and it kind of doesn't necessarily dictate a particular body type. Yeah, I agree. It's just kind of like, yeah, you know what you're doing. Like that's <laughs> yeah. a, a, yeah. that confidence goes a long way. There is some psychology behind the whole idea. It, specifically in the male world that the you know like six like taller and kind of more traditionally attractive like yeah. the whole like defined jawline and all that kind of stuff 
even in business and stuff, they tend to succeed and promote faster than right. But like even somebody that outsmarts them or is better at their job. But I think you're onto something with the whole idea. It's the confidence factor thing. Yeah. Like if you can own the space you're in, like if you can just sit there and be like, nothing here threatens me. Like I'm yeah. the most confident person here. Looks pl- looks play a big part. Uh, but there's nothing I like to see better than a hot couple that is just dumber than a box of rocks. Yeah. Uh, but they're so stupid they don't realize it. Yeah. And uh, oh, they're entertaining. They're, they're it's entertaining. I personally would rather be smart than attractive. But that's just a personal thing. I don't like things to kind of stump me. Like right. I don't, I don't, I don't like coming across challenges that I can't figure out yeah and i've never seen anybody pretty their way through no. a challenge <laughs> like i have so i've so seen the, people the, fuck their way the, through a challenge the, i've never <laughs> seen anybody pretty their let way me, through but they're not hold ugly on. fucking their hold way on. through a challenge there jazz let me break this debate Fair. down into, into two parts so okay. part one is the exact question would you rather be good looking or smart and then part two is would you rather somebody else be good looking oh. or smart? Okay. I get that. Okay. Yeah, so, because they're, well, they're two different things, really. Because, like, and it sparked me because Jazz was like, I would much rather be smart. Yeah. Because I, I, I agree with Jazz 100%. I would much rather be smart than good looking. I don't give a really two fucks what I so look like. I'm yeah. gonna, I'll say this then I, I will be mediocre at both. Because I'm not the hottest guy, obviously. Yeah. And I'm not the smartest guy. I'd fuck but, you. But I'm not I'm I'm smart enough to know <laughs> not to fuck at you. least at least <laughs> at least I'm smart enough to know that I'm not <laughs> the smartest person in the room. But you know what? Actually, I'm right. Because Scott said this in the past too. He wouldn't ever fuck somebody that would fuck him. That's right. So if you said I've you heard fuck him, him he would not. Him. <laughs> we're we're done, buddy. Yeah. I have higher standards than you. <laughs> If somebody would fuck me, I'm sorry. We're it's never going to happen because I have higher standards than that. I love you, Michelle. Well, she met me when I was better looking, <laughs> so she she gets a pass. Uh, but no, no, I like, yeah, I, I'm smart enough to know I'm not always the smartest person. Yeah, and I think that that's the level of smartness. That's, that's a bigger sign of intelligence than people think. But I think, but. But once you get to that point, if you if you think you're the smartest person in the room, you're a dumb motherfucker. You are fucking stupid. Or you really need to evaluate the room that you're yeah. in. Yeah. And, 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 and if you think that it's way. It's got padded walls. you got a problem. If you, <laughs> no, I'm the smartest. <laughs> if you think that way, I hope you are attractive. Because, because knowing that you're the smartest person in the room is very unattractive. Well, I... I, I, I well, with that, I tend to fall back on what John's saying is that if you're standing there thinking I'm the smartest person in this room, you need to find a new room. Yeah. Well, let, let's break it down. So th- I, I can absolutely say that there's only one person that I know that can say that they are the smartest person in that room. He's no longer with us. And uh, he used to roll around in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Very much not attractive. Not so much attractive. Dude, he was a fucking slayer before he fucking but dude, went in that wheelchair, though. No, no. You so, watched his life story? So, that so, motherfucker so, was John, growing dick. Say the names in case nobody's following us. I can't think of it right now. That's Stephen, Hawking. Stephen Hawking. There we go. Stephen Hawking. That's so Stephen good. Hawking, right? This motherfucker actually got a divorce after he was in that chair. And then and married remarried. a smoke show. And she was hot. So I fuck. I'm, that's why I said I'm going with the smart. <laughs> <laughs> As a dude, I think that's the okay. But that also applies to the chick, right? This chick could not have been smart. Ah, uh, maybe she was. No, she had a doctorate in. She had a doctorate, and she was smart enough to marry Stephen Hawking. No, she had a. I think she had a doctorate in applied mathematics. I don't know how. Well, it's the only way they can communicate. <laughs> right. well, what the fuck else would they no, talk about? No, I'm serious. About? I think she had a. I think his second wife had a doctorate in applied mathematics, and the first wife, I think, was also a physicist. So you know how they met at a convention. They put point seven seven three. <laughs> into a calculator five, five eight zero zero eight held it upside down and it said hello yeah 
That's how they oh, meant. Oh, I spelled boobless. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I, th- I think I'm still sticking with personally, I would rather be smart than attractive. Like, yeah, I, I don't consider myself to be a stupid person. I know people smarter than me. I know people dumber than I am. But I like to consider myself pretty intelligent. I also know that on the physical attractiveness scale, uh, my wife is a sweetheart and loves to lie to me, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but I I know that, you know, shit, even amongst my friend group, when you just go on the straight, like, the primal instinct of who women yeah. are naturally attracted to, it's typically not five seven hundred and hundred and fifty five pounds of Nor is it five smart. seven uh, two hundred and fifty pounds. It, yeah, like it's typically <laughs> and I have a lot of friends that are six plus and yeah. like big dudes and stuff like that. And you know, at a bar you it's the guys that you look at and go like, I'm in the wrong bar. Like I'm not picking up anything here. Like this is over. <laughs> um But I'd rather have the intelligence side personally. Uh, over the attractive side because I, I think how, it only carries you so far and to be honest with you that shit fades how many nerds nerds in school are now married to a hot chick a lot, lot a lot of them yep. a lot of them right so how many, whole, how many hot dudes in high school yeah are married to ratchet fucking right yeah no now, 100% sorry, in high school star football the person player. that they married was hot yes but they weren't smart right that's what I'm saying and then now you fast forward. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you got now you have some hot chicks that are married to really stupid people. Yeah. It's also it's amazing how attractive somebody comes when they were smart enough to go make a lot of money. Like yeah. all of a sudden that person's real fucking attractive, ain't they? <laughs> you know, Att- like, attractive and hot are probably two different things. Here. Okay, yeah. so so on on part one of the question, whether it refers to you, would you rather be good looking or smart? Where do we stand, Scott? You know, uh, fuck, I don't know. I like the, I like the even. You can't take middle of the road. You, you got to pick, pick one, one or the other. Uh, I'd probably rather be smart. Yeah. Yeah. Jazz? Oh, smart. 100%. Dave? Dude, I'm dumb as a box of rocks. I'll take being smart any day. <laughs> <laughs> you hot motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to go smart too. So I think we got a general consensus on, on, for what we prefer ourselves to be is. Yeah. And smart I think it, it comes looking. down to, personal goals right like i like being able to figure things out i like to be able to come up against challenges and figure that out and figure out how to get through it i don't i don't like being presented with stuff where i just go like oh i don't know oh i don't i don't fucking know and i'm not going to figure this out like yeah well and i think a lot of that has to do with the fact that everyone here is self-reliant in one form or another you know we don't want to have to ask somebody else yeah. for yeah, something I'm not saying i won't so but that's that's but I don't, that, that also goes to the intelligence factor because we understand that there are things that we don't understand and we need to have somebody else's help so we would much rather work on something try and figure it out ourselves and then come to the realization that we need help aka being smart enough to know when we don't know and get someone else's help who might be smarter than us. Right. Yep. No. You know who I hate, though? It's really smart, hot people. Attractive people. people. Yeah. It's fucking worst. (laughs) Okay, so let's dive into part two. (laughs) In regards to somebody else, not yourself. Like like somebody we we would like our significant other to be? Uh, No, I don't think we should do that. No. (laughs) No. See, John's smart right there. (laughs) Well, see, my thing is is that I kind of lucked out because, like, my wife is attractive just physically, but then also, like, speaks multiple languages and has a master's degree. And, like, she's also got the mental aptitude to be able to be really effective. Let's talk about uh, how can I. So if you. if you're talking about females now, right? Well, no, <laughs> no, I'm talking across the board. Um, let's do it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to word it. I would say if you're a female and you're a five, you need to be pretty smart. If you're a six, you need to be a little less smart. If you're a fucking 10, you can't be a zero in the smart category. You still have to have, you still have so- to. So let's go. Let's go as a, a society as a whole. What's more important for a society to be good looking or to be smart? Smart, smart. 
Yeah. For the advancement of a society? Dude, just uh, not Soci- for any particular society reason. Society in general. Well, so well, what's I the- would disagree because the fact of the matter is, is that the the monkey brain part of you, which is everything below about 85 IQ. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about below the waist. Yeah. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey Clearly brain. Clearly we know who's smart and not on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey brain part of you which is everything below about 85 IQ, which is essentially all of your natural... Yeah, base functions. Base function part of your cortex is going to look at attractiveness, just straight physical attraction for duplication. Like, it's the whole reason that you're attracted to shit is I want to make copies of that. And you're attracted to certain things like hips... Bigger guys are more attractive than smaller guys. Women with hips and larger breasts and all the stuff are more attractive because the monkey part of your brain is telling you that has a better chance of surviving than somebody that is smaller or, I mean, it's, then that's just, yeah. you, you can't get rid of that. That's just the primal instinct yeah. of, of replication. When there's any sort of intelligence involved, for the advancement of society, you obviously want to make copies of the smart people, yeah. not the pretty people. Like, because it's the only way that problems are going to get solved. Because you could have a whole shit ton of really pretty morons. Yeah. And then you end up with fucking your average newscaster. Yeah. So, like, about, that's a whole lot of really pretty yeah. faces that are dumber than a fucking box of rocks. So, look at, look at California. About 10 years ago, I read this article that was, uh, this one dude has a theory, and I can't remember the guy's name or the name of the article. And if anybody out there knows, fucking hit us up, let us know, because I'd love to find it and read it again. Uh, but the the general theory about what the guy, this guy was saying is uh, the evolution of, of humans on the planet is eventually going to turn into two races, a dominant race and a subdominant race. And there's not going to be black or yellow or white or, or any skin tones or colors or anything like that your your dominant race is going to be taller stronger more fit uh more intelligent more attractive and your subdominant race is going to be shorter um overweight less intelligent and everything like that and it's based off of what jazz kind of was saying the natural breeding tendencies of the human brain and it's over, and it's not going to happen like oh, it's going to happen in twenty thirty. Like this is, it's going to take yeah. hundreds of years. Well, it's the same evolutionary spike that you saw between uh, Homo sapien, which, by the way, if you don't know what that means, actually means the wise ones. It means wise people. That's what Homo sapien means. And then, what does this Homo mean? Homo means human. I thought it meant wise. Huh, weird. Sapien means wise. Oh, okay. See, uh, that's why I wanted clarification. Yep. Wise human. <laughs> so wise person or wise human. It, 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 that's the breakdown on Homo sapien, where that comes from. And uh, and the species before us. Mm-hmm. And the the reason that that species before us no longer is, exists is we essentially bred them out of right. existence. Those that were smarter, stronger, faster, they kept Just making survivalists. copies. Yeah. And then that's how you ended up with. That's a good theory. That's how you ended up with hundred. There's a lot of very stupid people that are ugly that breed like a son. Well, of a that's bitch. because of society. Well, that's yeah. because of today's society. That's today's society, and the fact that the problem with and this is where I'm probably gonna piss some people off, but yeah, fuck it. So the planet's overpopulated. Yeah, there's too many fucking people on the planet. You don't. Say. 2024 Thanos. The the problem with overpopulation is that those that breed without a plan breed those that will breed without a plan. Yeah, yeah. like the so, movie Idiocracy. It, yeah. So <laughs> those that are actually, you're absolutely right. So there's a portion in that movie where they're interviewing a couple that is it's successful amazing. in business. It's the only amazing. comedy and it's, that and became a documentary. And they're talking to each other and they've decided not to have kids because they're at certain points in their career and they wanted to financially be able to afford it. But then where their career got them, they're yeah. looking at it going the time necessary like, oh, to have kids. We don't want to have a kid. In we don't society. want to have that up. And we don't like where society then, is. Oh, now we, we can't couldn't. because of him. Yeah. You know. But the fucking two pack a day of Pall Malls and 
fucking slamming down boxes of Franzia and fucking like they're, you know, it's nobody else for them and the nine people in the trailer parks next to them. And they're just multiplying like fucking rabbits. Yeah. It shows like the family tree of the two, yeah. and it's just the two, and then the family tree. Yeah. The other one's like pink, pink, yeah. pink, pink. Yeah. Brrr, and so, <laughs> and that's the problem is that you run into that, and it's like you know, well, I've got six kids from five dudes, and it's like, well, you know, and same thing with the guys. You have guys that have fucking kids yeah. from you know, and it's there's it's breeding without a plan. Yeah, and anybody with a level of intelligence looks at it and goes like, well, I want kids, but I want two kids. So they have their two kids and then they, they ended there. Mikey and his wife wanted two kids. They had their two kids. Mikey got fucking snipped so that they couldn't have anything beyond that. Like that's breeding with a plan and that's how you actually control a population boom. So the problem was when bad decision making breeds bad decision making, you just end up with an even larger population of bad decision making. And so that's. The ahead, checks Dave. and balances what, what, what thing you becomes do? a problem. You, you, gotta, you gotta be a little bit more final when it comes to getting snipped because three of us at this table know someone who got snipped and then well, now the, first, like, the fi- toddler is what? Three? Yeah, the first... No, no, I got snipped afterwards. No, Trent. Lingle. Oh. Well, the first, <laughs> fi- the first 50 shots or whatever... Sorry after to dime me out there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the first 50 shots or whatever after you get snipped is... Uh, gambling yeah you're you're still rolling the <laughs> dice there bud no, I th- yeah i think this was like a year i think he said it was like a year a year and a half after well maybe you and uh, tried harder faster yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking rub one out uh, what the yeah. fuck like <sighs> so like my wife and i we have no desire to have children like at all neither one of us wants to be a parent Hello. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> neither one of us wants to be a parent we don't want kids we have no desire to carry on the family name like any of that kind of stuff. And the funny thing is, is that when you look at just the straight math of it, we are probably the people that should have kids. Like, right. But we don't want them. I don't think this world's ready so for a jazz number two. You do not want me molding people. Like, that is not. <laughs> it's I not think, what I you think want. you and Caitlin would make a great little person. I don't think you <laughs> would make it. I don't think you would raise a great little person. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Be a two and a half year old hanging out up here with a cigar and a whiskey in his like, mouth going up, like, hey, bro? fuck you. And then be like, That's my boy. And I'd be like, holy shit. Are you sending him to school? Like, that's going to be a problem. Nope. Kids getting home. It has home school. Yeah. No, I, I, you guys would have, you guys would have great looking kids. I think we'd have attractive yeah. children. Yeah. But no, you, you would be good parents. I, you would. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But we just, we don't want kids. Yeah. It's just no, a personal yeah. choice we've made. Yeah. It doesn't fit our lifestyle. We like to travel. We like to, yeah. it, like, we have a, a lot of, as discussed in podcasts, we have a lot of expensive hobbies. Like, there's all this <laughs> kind of stuff. And uh, I know I am selfish enough to look at that and go, I'm not willing to give up all of these chunks of my life yeah. to make a copy of myself. Yeah. Like, it's just not something I'm willing to do. Uh, but I also have a brother that like wants multiple kids and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm like, there you go. There's the genes being passed on. But uh, yeah, I just, I don't want kids. Um, and so, but I think you have to look at that from the aspect of, I'm not saying that we should mandate who's allowed to make copies, but <laughs> uncontrolled, unplanned breeding is how you end up with this weird dichotomy. And that's why hypothesis like yeah. that, end up becoming you kind of look at it and go yeah can kind of <laughs> see it because those that are planning it out and making smarter more attractive right more successful copies well, like like could I'm, end I'm, up I'm, with I'm, kind of a I'm gonna controlling give, I'm, species i'm gonna give an example a lower in species like the two people that had sex and had a kid who is 33 and decided to f- paint his face with shit. And, and dressed like a buffalo. And dressed like a buffalo and stormed the Capitol. Hey, that was a Chewbacca bikini. Like, right? you should not have had a kid. <laughs> yeah. You know what? They probably <laughs> should have had a kid, but they probably should have made better decisions in raising that child. Uh, yeah. And it's it. a lot of that comes down to... Goes back to that smarter thing. It comes down <laughs> to the smarter thing, and that's a that's a lack of... It's a lack of forethought in planning. That's... I view people like that and I view it as reactionary parenting. Yeah. It's like, I don't actually know where I should set these limits. So I'm just going to react to whatever the fuck the child. I tell you what though, being a parent's hard. Cause like, like I know like rule book. Like I know you get a construction manual. I try to teach my children. I really try to teach them, but yet 
everything I teach them, they don't listen to me. So, like, <laughs> None of us do I've either. tried. None of I've us tried. do either. Think but, about like, all the shit that did, your parents are. Did you are, listen when you were a kid? I listen more than my kids do. I, uh, <laughs> I listen to like basic how to like clean my room. Ah, the fuck. No, no you're, you're right. You're right. You, I you listen, listen to how to stay alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know, don't happens. put your fucking arm in a combine. Okay, got yeah. it. You know, like all that was us, literally a lesson I've learned. <laughs> I, yes. That's what I said. Yeah. Like <laughs> all of us have gotten. I got that, that same lesson. I know. <laughs> all of us have gotten that. This is dangerous. Stay away from it. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, directions yeah, unclear. Dick stuck in ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> that happened one time. <laughs> all of us have gotten to that point though that you get to a certain point in your life. And you kind of do a little bit of self reflection, and then you go like, "Wow, well, is a piece of shit, man!" I need to call to apologize. Like this was fucking, this was fucked up. Yeah. You were right, but I thought I had it figured out. And like your kids will do the same thing. Yeah, I know. I mean, look at look he, at Darren. Either that, or they'll kill me in my sleep. One of the two is going to happen. Yeah. Well, I mean, like you have a kid that's serving now. The two, yeah, yeah, two, and yeah. oh, that's right, you have two. Yeah. You know, you've got the grandkid. They're doing great. Yeah, like, they, that, they are. That couple's doing fantastic. They're really doing like, great. Yeah. So you did fine. Yeah, it's frustrating going on, but it's like you said, there's no instruction manual. Yeah. There's no like, you know, insert tab A into slot B. Well, there is, but that's yeah. how you ended up with the kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so no, They taught you that in high school. That's yeah. fucking weird. But, yeah. you know, you did the best you could and you passed on that wisdom and stuff like that. But yeah, I, I don't know, man. It, I There's some credence to that theory of like, but it goes back to the idea that like the geek shall inherit the earth. Look at! I thought it was the meek. No, oh, that's a mistranslation. Okay, it's <laughs> no, no, it's really the same thing. It's, it's really the, the it's same also kind of the same thing. Because <laughs> if you go look at who, which geek do you know who's not yeah, meek? That's true. Go look at. Oh, I'm a geek. I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> That's why your wife went and shot the competition. Oh, oh. That comes back to stupidity over pretty. <laughs> yeah. I did that when people were just like, pack your shit, we're going to the field. And she was like, this is going to be fun. And I was like, no, have a sorry. great time. Like, <laughs> so, but look at, you know, everybody likes to talk about the billionaires right now in the world and stuff like that. And it's like, go look at those billionaires. Was that the six foot five quarterback in high school? No. Nope. It was that really smart motherfucker that you made fun of. And now yeah. he's got more money than yeah. God and can bang anybody on the planet. Like, yeah. So kids, if you're listening to this, you shouldn't be. But if you are and you're that nerd in school. When yeah. you, when you keep on fucking nerding, bro. Keep yeah. on nerding. Nerd hard. <laughs> because when you when you're in your 30s and you're making bank, the 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 women will come out of the fucking woodwork. Yeah. yeah. You'll you'll be fine. And that's exactly where even when you're saying like so when other people would you rather have smart or attractive? I'd rather go smart. Smart. Yeah. I would rather have a smart population. Yeah. And fuck, if you don't believe that we need more smart people in society, open up any social media app on your fucking phone right now and then go prove me wrong. Yeah. Cuz <laughs> Jesus Christ, we have our fucking fill. Find find somebody the that you know that is the smartest person you know and go look at their social media. Yeah. If they don't know the difference between your, your, and your. No, 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 no. no, we, no, no, no. We're, we're on a, that's no. a way different level. Than we're, go what, look at their social here, media. I, I think I'm tracking you. with John on it. Yeah. Think of the smartest, some of the smartest people you know and go find their social media oh, yeah. and go find how often they post. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Go find how often they're actually posting or commenting on anything short of like, me and my wife had a baby, and they throw you a like to just kind of support the fact that you had a baby. Yeah. But they go find off how, how often, often they post how or often share anything engage. or chime in yep. on anything. Just go look. Oh, I know. That I makes, was just trying to make it. That joke. makes me yeah. feel a lot better about being very disengaged with social media. So thank you. Yeah. Like just go look. And I'm telling you right now, the people that are posting all the fucking time probably not the guy you want to go ask for any sort of intellectual advice just saying so which so our, by the way so we're, we're with yeah, that little note put out why don't you go check how often your favorite politician is posting on social media <laughs> 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 46 <laughs> times a day yeah. Yeah. well in a row 
Uh, 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 47 up, up, up until last week when they were pulled off all of them no I'm talking both sides of the aisle I don't give yeah, a fuck who you are any, go, fucking, yeah. go check them so even the same thing man all the big boys the guys that are out there like Jeff Bezos Twitter ain't exactly fucking blowing up you know why he's too busy making billions of dollars to yeah. worry about chiming in on what you and your Mick job are fucking making you yeah <laughs> You can't be hideous, and you can't be stupid. Nope. I'd say strive to be a five or above in each. You know category. what I would like to be if we were gonna if we were gonna break them into categories for like intelligence and attractiveness. I would like to have like a nice like personally. I want like an eight six split. Yeah, I want like That's eight on intelligence, six on attractive. It's like it's not ugly. There's prettier. Yeah, but he's not ugly. But he's not hideous. But dude can figure some shit out. Like yeah. That's that's exactly where I want to land. I yeah. want a nice eight six split on the fucking intelligence attractiveness scale. I'll take a seven five. Seven five is a good goal. Yeah, I'll I take a seven a good goal. five. Yeah. I'm a where, where are you at? Where's I'm, a, your split, I'm a realist. John? My split on a, on attractive to smart. Right. So scale of one to ten on smart attractive. So oh, your first number attract. is smart. Second number is attractive. Oh. I'm going eight six. Go, He's got I, seven five. I'm going to go eight six too. You're going to go eight yeah, six, Dave. I, I like that. Oh no, knowledge. I'm five and five. You're five and five. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, right, I'm, hey, right here, buddy. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm, fu- I'm fucking you know, mediocre at best, which is why go. I'm sitting here right now. Without any expectations, you're never disappointed. Yep. So since he's not here, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, what do we oh. think Mikey is at? <laughs> Where do we think Mikey's split is? Mikey's a three seven. <laughs> Love you, brother. You're a three seven. <laughs> Dave, Dave, where do you put Mikey? Uh, God, I don't know. Before he trimmed the beard, I would have given him like a like a five seven. Five seven. Yeah. All right. All right. What about you, Johnny? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna give Mikey some credit. Yeah, I really am. see. I know him pretty well. I'm gonna give Mikey so. credit. I'm gonna give Mikey an eight seven. And I don't know if I can use those numbers. I don't know what the fucking end goal yeah. of the numbers are splitting wise. And I don't know why I had to pick what I had to pick. I think it's because you said it. And I kind of agreed with it. But I'm going to go with the 8-7 with Mikey. And I think Mikey values intelligence. More than a, more than physical attractiveness. Yeah. yeah. But I also think that physical attractiveness does hold weight with him. He's, he's no Phelps. He's no Phelps. <laughs> no, he's not. Not on the attractiveness side. But Phelps no. is probably what? Oh, he's a 10 10. He's, he's no, he's probably a 10 3. 10 3. Yeah, I, don't ten, know. Three. I think he's too 10 intelligence, to 3 it out. attractive. <laughs> yeah, that's where you're putting Phelps. Uh, a, a, a 9 3. 9 attractive, 3 smart. Okay, you got the numbers flipped. Oh, sorry. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, he's a 3 9. 3 9. Yeah, 3 9. Yeah, three, three, nine. Three, nine. See, I, I think the thing about Mikey is he, he likes to play dumb, he's a lot smarter than he lets on. Yeah. 100%. He is a lot smarter when I'm he, actually, when he lets on because he gets he gets going on stuff. I'll give it. I'll give him an extra point because he figured out the banana trick. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Mikey's my boyfriend, so mine's a little skewed. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm gonna go seven nine on Mikey. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I'm going on Mikey. Okay, seven nine. Okay. Sorry, Mikey. I was trying to be funny. Well, that's yeah. that's seven intelligence, nine attractiveness. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You'd you'd really fuck Mikey, wouldn't you? Oh, half. Yeah. Half yeah. and will again. Nice. Yeah. Are, are we basing what we think he likes or are we basing what he is? No, what he actually is. Oh. What he is. No, <laughs> okay, not, I'm not, way off then. I yeah, was no, thinking of what no, he yeah, likes. Because you, you were way nice to Yeah, Mikey. I know. <laughs> what is Mikey? Oh, what is Mikey? Oh. Oh. Like how smart versus how pretty. Oh. Okay. You know, I'll, you know what? I'm going to go across the board. I think Mikey's a solid 8-8. Eight, eight. He's an wow. Yeah. Wow. He he's, 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 the he's, numbers went up. Gentlemen, that's crazy. You know Haley just came back from a sniper competition, right? That's why I'm going to Mikey's Nate 8. <laughs> 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 no, because uh, Haley's actually very, very intelligent. She is. She's extremely smart and not bad looking either. So, like, so, yeah. <laughs> but, well, I also, I like fit chicks. Like, I like chicks that are in... Like that I know can lift and like, so yeah. Plus, I'm not worried about Mikey fucking trying to come hunt me down because he knows I'm not after his wife. Like, <laughs> but uh, but my chick likes to lift and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, so Mikey, it's just what I'm into. But Mikey and your wife are work couple. So well, after yeah, after I no longer work there, right? Because Mikey was my work wife, yeah. and then when I left, she yeah. took the role. So, but uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seven nine. I'd bang him. I wouldn't let him fuck me, but I totally let him catch this dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is not oh, equal opportunity. Fuck right? boys. Woo. Fuck boys. What did we learn today? So- Dave, so we, we learned Mikey's a lot hotter in your line of thought than I think we, we learned thought. that Jazz thinks that Mikey's a power bottom. 100% a power bottom. <laughs> With a good slap. <laughs> Boy, we're bringing slap. that back. <laughs> <laughs> My sponsored post got so fucked up from this. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, we learned Mikey's a power bottom. Yeah. And uh, I think what we've decided is that it is better to be smart than pretty. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, on that note, unless you're a 21 year old chair, can I get a little bit of ice from you so yes, I can uh, oh, I shit. can do this properly? Do that too. I think everybody does. Shit. I need I need tiny icebergs. You know we have just the right amount of ice. Yeah, to get through this show. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that because this fucking wild turkey long branch is just junk. dude. All it took for me was like a sniff of that stuff. I tried. I, I mean, it's gonna get drank eventually. I yeah, guess. eventually. No. All right, so I'm going to raise my glass and say, here's to all you pretty motherfuckers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you smart guys, hang in there. Hang in there. The pussy's coming. You got this. Oh, yeah. So, uh, warfightertobacco.com. Yeah. Use that code FREEDOMFRIENDS. Score yourself a sweet, sweet. 15% off all your smoky treats. Uh, owellness.us. Uh, for all your CBD needs to reduce that stress for when you're lonely and you've roughed up the suspect a little too much uh, because your smartness hasn't paid off yet. There's a, uh, what is that, a uh, CBD, a CBD pain, pain, patch, pain right patch right there. I don't recommend using that. but uh, Well, but if you roughed him up too much, that might work. You, might you just wrap that. it around there yeah. like, a, like a crate. See what happens. Uh, it'll take care of you. Uh, you can get our merch for this mediocre ass show over at uh, redactedsupply.com. There's a big fuck off button. And uh, if you need to eat away your feelings... Or if you're huge and you're just going on the pretty thing and need to bulk up, there's some uh, wonderful spices yeah. that you can throw. Or if on you're doing meat. that Joe Rogan meat diet, carnivore diet, the carnivore diet or yeah. whatever, I could do that. Go check uh, you out get the uh, shits for like a week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't care. Go check out. Uh, <laughs> grill your ass Situation off. Normal? And if you yeah. use the code FF15, so that's Foxtrot Foxtrot15, uh, you'll score fifteen percent off. A lot like that fucking code gives you. Yeah. And. Uh, Oh shit, I didn't give out the O Wellness one. So O Wellness.us uh, is oh, Freedom, Freedom Friends 25. 25. Yeah, Freedom Quarter Friends off your 25. order. Quarter off your order. So uh, that'll take care of all that. So that pays all the bills. Uh, I've raised my glass to all you pretty sons of bitches. And uh, other than that, man, if you don't know if you're pretty or smart, there's still three things that you can go do that'll <laughs> fuck keep life straight. The first is to smoke on, the second, Just drink on, and the third is to, God damn it! Freedom, Freedom the, the fuck, fuck on. on. Mm. Maybe after those, you figure out if you're pretty or smart. I'm pretty smart. 